So, saan tayo nag-stop? Okay, so tapos na tayo dito. So, any questions so far regarding with this one? Wala po. Okay. Okay, Done, sir. Sige. Okay, good. So, next. So, meron na tayong uh, mas complete na syntax ng if statement. So, ito, uh, same pa rin, pero ito, pag mag after ng then, dapat hindi nakasunod. Okay? So, dito ang mangyayari kasi is uh, pwede ka na maglagay ng uh, two procedures or three procedures or kahit ilan na gusto mo na gagawin niya kapag true yung conditional statement mo. Okay? So, kanina, isa-isa lang. So, ito, one true statement and then one process ang gagawin niya. Paano kung gusto mo maglagay ng one... Uh, two, three process. So, pwede naman, basta ibaba mo lang. Okay? Kasi magkakaroon ka ng error kapag nasa iisang line lang. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-syntax niya. So, after mo mag-ben, uh, space, and then dito mo ilagay yung uh, mga process na gagawin mo kapag true yung statement mo. Okay? So, pwede ka magkaroon ng uh, ilang statement. Statement one hanggang ilan yung gusto mo. Okay? So, para wigyan ka ng idea. So, parang ganito siya. If balance minus check is less than zero, then, uh, ito yung gagawin niya. Message box that show you are overdrawn. And then, message box authorities have been notified. And then, uh, the process is balance now is equal to zero. Okay? So, kapag true ito, then, magpo-proceed siya sa tatlong process na to. But, if this one is false, then wala siyang gagawin. Okay? Since wala ka namang inilagay. Okay? So, meron tayong uh, another example or another syntax, rather. So, meron na tayong if, then, followed by else, and then end if. So, may natagtag na else. So, ang gagawin na ito is meron tayong if and then yung true statement mo and then kung ilang uh, true codes yung ilalagay mo. Okay? Kung ilang process yung gusto mong ilagay. Ah, uh, Pag ito, false, uh, mapapal siya dito. Okay? O dito na siya mapupunta sa else. Okay? So, let's say, kapag positive, dito siya mapupunta. Pero kapag negative, dito na siya mapupunta. Okay? So, parang ganun lang yun, kasimple. So, para mas maintindihan nyo to, meron ulit tayo example. So, if this is true, then it will uh, do those three process. If this one is not true, then pupunta siya dito. Ito yung i-execute niyang code. Okay? So, meron tayo example dito. So, best example dito is yung parang password. Okay? So, kapag true yung username at saka password mo, we're in correct yung username at password, papakita niya yung successful login. Uh, login. Other than this one, ang ipapakita niya is alert intruder. Okay? So, let's say yung username mo is S217. And then, yung password mo is uh, computers with S. So, hindi na siya nagmamatch mismo sa password at saka sa username mo. So, ang papakita mo na dapat dyan is alert intruder. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan nyo to, uh, pakita ko yung example. Or gawin mismo natin. So, i-delete ko lang to para bago lahat. Ayan. So, ang kailangan lang natin is dalawang text box. Set ko lang sa multi-line para ma-resize natin. Ayan. Username and password. And then, two labels. So, resize lang natin to. Copy, paste. This one is for username. 
đi tìm gọi username so feel free to ask kung may mga question kayo and then password and then a button para sa login button natin lang yung size 25 and then change natin yung uh, text into 19 Okay. So, ang ipoprogram natin is yung button mismo, yung login button. So, double click nyo lang to. And then, atang pupunta na kayo dito. Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin is team is equal to uh, harap iba naman. So, gagamit ako ng ibang variables instead of a, b. Lagi na lang kasi yung a, b. So, user. Pwede rin user. And then, pass as string. Okay. Hindi na to integer since ang kailangan ang input na natin is strings na. Okay? Or alphabets or words. Okay? So, saan magagaling yung user natin? Sa so, text box. And that text. Pass natin is equal to text box to that text. Okay? And then, gagamit na tayo ng if statement. If user is equal to, so kapag string, again, gagamit na tayo ng double quotation. Okay? So, user natin is so, according to this module, S218. So, giyahin na lang muna natin para hindi malito kung sakali. Pero pwede yung palitan to. So, pwede kayong maglagay ng kahit anong user. So, gagamit tayo ng n since dalawa yung kailangan natin. Okay? As to so, sabi dito computer password is computer ilang natin computer then so after ng then click enter or hit enter and then magpapakita na agad yung end if so automatic na yan na dapat magpakita yung end if pag di nagpakita uh, i-redo nyo lang kasi dapat magpakita yun kapag hindi nagpakita magkakaroon kayo ng error kahit na pares lang yung uh, code nyo so, ang gagawin natin is kapag ito, true, S218 sa ka, uh, computer, so ang gagawin natin, papakita natin sa message box. Oops. Message box. Use an open parenthesis, double quotation, successful. Yan. Okay. So, else, kapag hindi tumama dito. Okay? So, kapag let's say uh, S218 or S217 yung nalagay, tapos computer yung nalagay, so dapat mag-fall na siya dito. So, message box. Okay. So, yan lang yung code natin para sa sample problem number 6. Okay, so test natin kung gumagana. Start. So sa user, dapat test to 18. Oops, masyadong maliit. Baka din yung makita. So raw, change ko lang yung font size. Okay, parang talaga ng error. So nyo isa-isa lang. Question kayo so far? May question kayo. Tanong lang kayo. Okay, so test natin. So, sa username, S218. Sa password, computer. Okay, so pag clinic ko yung login, dapat magpapakita yung successful login. Okay? Ayan. Successful login. Since uh, same na same yung string na nilagay natin. Okay? So, test naman natin kapag iba yung nilagay. Let's say yung password is nalagyan ng S or computer is yung nalagay. So, dapat ang magpapakita is alert intruder. Ayan. Alert intruder. Okay? So, yun lang naman so far. Any other question? Sir, pwede ba palakiin yung message box? Hmm, pwede yata, pero... Ang 
alam ko pwede pero hindi ko sure sa ngayon. Pero hindi ko mahanap kasi properties eh. Wala kasi yung properties yung ano eh. Talagang parang maliit lang siya na message na box. Kung gusto mo naman ng malaki, then okay, gamit ka ng malaking text box din. Sige, assignment ko yun. Kung ano ba lakihin yung message box. Okay. For now, ganun muna siya kali. Baka hindi nyo, oh, ano, baka hindi nyo masyado makita. For now, assignment ko. Okay? Miss Trina? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, other question? How about the others? So, kung papansin niyo dito is naka-asterisk siya. Okay? So, pwede nyo rin gawin yun. Click nyo lang to. So, stop ko muna to. So, click nyo lang to, yung text box mismo kung saan nilalagay yung password. And then, hanapin nyo yung uh, password card or password char, password character. So, by default, walang nakalagay dyan. So, ilagay nyo lang dyan, asterisk. Or kahit anong characters actually. Pwede rin letter A. Okay? So, mangyari nyan kapag nag-type kayo ng mga kahit ano dito sa password na text box, uh, kung anong nilagay nyo doon, yun yung papakita. So, user... Sabi ko lang to, and then magpa-type na ako. So, yan. Random characters na type ko, pero letter E lang yung nagpapakita. Okay. So, palitan ko na lang since awkward ang letter A. Oops, sasanig. Ah, hindi ko pa pala napundot. Pagawin okay. natin asterisk para kaparehas sa kaparehas ng mga passwords natin. Hindi na siya magpapakita. So, pwede nyo palitan to mismo. Itong S218. Let's say, my user. And then, yung password ko is my pass. Namula na lahat. Okay. So, yung username ko na is my user. And then, password is my pass. So, test natin. My user. And then, dito sa password, my So, dapat successful. Okay? And then, kapag iba yung tinayip ko, so, dapat alert na dito. Okay? So, so far, yun lang naman. Question? Question? None, sir. Okay. So, proceed na tayo. So, ito pala yung code niya. May code na tala siya dito. So, exercise. So, madali lang naman to. Actually, nandiyan na yung code. So, write an appropriate if statement for each of the following uh, conditions. So, if an angle is equal to 90 degrees, show the message the angle is right angle. Else, show the message the angle is not right uh, angle. So, in here, kapag yung angle is equal to 90, then message paths, the angle is a right angle. So, other than that, let's say 91, 89, or basta hindi eksaktong 90, magpapakita is the angle is not a right angle. Okay? So, medyo similar siya dito sa user and pass natin, pero isang input lang instead of two. Okay? So, uh, skip ko na to since nandiyan naman na yung parang pinaka-code niya ito. If and then end if natin. So, another uh, example, if the temperature is above 100 degrees, split the message above the boiling point of water. Okay, so dito naman na yung parang condition. Kapag yung temp mo daw, say temp variable, is greater than 100, so magpapakita dyan is above the boiling point of water. Okay, so more than 100, above the boiling point. Less than 100, below the boiling point of water. Okay, so gagamit kayo ng message box. Okay, so ganyan lang naman kasi sa mga exercises na to. So same with this one. So, Uh, as you can see, supposedly, activity nyo na naman ulit to. Actually, tat, apat yata to, lima. Three, four, five, six, seven. Pero since kulang tayo sa oras, and then medyo nahihirapan kayo, and then mas maganda sana kasi kung, yun nga, kung nagkaroon kayo ng problema, si gagawin nyo na ngayon, and then nagkaroon kayo ng problema, masasagot ko kagad. And then, yun, para tuloy-tuloy kayo. Pero since, hindi ko alam kung nagigets nyo ba, or hindi, or nahihiya kayo magtanong, so hindi ko alam kung, Uh, okay ba sa inyo yung pace natin? Mabagal ba or mabilis ba? Parang ganun. 
So since uh, medyo kulang na talang tayo sa meeting, actually tatlong meeting na lang natitira. So this coming Saturday, and then Wednesday, and then Saturday next week. After that, uh, exam nyo na. Exam nyo is August 18. 18 ba? Check natin. Ah, mali. 19 pala. So, ang exam niya is August 19. So, 5 na ngayon. Next meeting is Saturday 8. Next meeting ulit is 12 and then 10. So, tatlong meeting na lang. So, a total of 6 hours. Meron pa tayong isang module. I think meron yung 70 or 90. Ito lang. So, nasa ganun yung slides nun. Medyo marami rin ito. So, hopefully matapos natin next meeting uh, ito. And then, meron tayong 2 meetings for the last module. Okay? So, para mangyari yun, i-skip natin itong 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Di bali, uh, medyo logical naman to kaya kaya nyo itong i-analyze. Kung titignan nyo to okay, so, ipad ko lang ito. Okay? So, titignan nyo to if the num is positive, then add the number to both sum. So, meron lang tayong isang input and then dalawang output. Kaya, itong num is yung input. So, kung yung num, i-compare mo lang kung positive or negative. So, pag positive, mapupunta siya sa both sum. We're in ma add siya dito. Kapag negative naman, mapupunta siya sa next sum. Ay, ma add din siya dito. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. Gagamit lang kayo ng mga if statements. Then, number 4, if the slope is less than 0 0.5, then set the variable flag to 0. Else, set flag to 1. So, ganun din dito. So, isang input lang and then uh, two output. Kapag yung slope nila is less than 0 0.5, then set yung flag to 0. Let's say, Plug is just a label, and then 0 or 1 is just a text box. So, pwede yung ganun. Ah, 1 input, 1 output lang pala to. So, dalawa lang. Kapag 0 0.5, then 0. Ah, less than 0 0.5, then 0. More than 0 0.5, then uh, 1. Okay? So, same lang din dito. 5, 6, 7. So, i-skip na natin yun. And then, sample problem number 7. Okay? So, actually, nagawa na natin to kanina. Okay? Pero ang ginawa natin is two lines of codes wherein uh, nag-state tayo ng dalawang condition. Okay? So yung ginawa ko, if x is greater than or equal to 0, then message box positive. Tapos, kinapik ko ulit to and then nag-declare ako ng another uh, condition wherein if x is less than 0, then message box at show negative. Okay? So, I hope uh, nag-gets nyo na to since nagawa na natin to kanina. And then, sample problem number 8. So, you've been hired as a programmer, blah, blah, blah. Actually, para, para ma-exe, uh, gagamit lang kayo ng len function. Ah, len ba? Tama, len function. Ah, iba pala to. So, yung len function natin. So, wala ito dito. Meron tayong isa pa, uh, text message yun, wherein gamit kayo ng len and then ikakount niyo yung characters and then kapag sumabra sa yun, let's say 50 50 uh, characters or 50 na alphabets or numbers, babayaran mo na yung susunod. Okay? Pero ito similar din siya pero in terms of text message as a whole. So dito, kapag nag-exceed ka ng more than 100 message 100 messages, so uh, may bayad na yung susunod na 50 centavos per message. So, dito, naka-1 na say, uh, naka-150 message na siya. So, kukumpit mo lang to 150 times 50 centavos, 0.50. So, 50 times uh, 50, so 25 pesos. So, kailangan mo ibabas yung 100 since yung first 100 mo is, eto, first 100 mo is zero charge. Okay. Diba din nandito na rin yung sample uh, code natin or yung solution niya mismo to be exact. Ayan. Okay? So, another example is sample problem number 9. So, you were hired as a programmer by TNP Telepono. Telepono ng Pilipino, a phone company. So, TNP employs a metering scheme in computer te uh, telephone bill. The metering scheme is as follows. So, sabi dito, kapag weekdays, 
6 o'clock a.m. to 6.59 p.m., uh, you're going to be charged 750 pesos per minute. Okay? And then another condition or another criteria is charges meet at other times. So kapag wala siya dito 6 a.m. hanggang 6.59 p.m., let's say 7 o'clock p.m. hanggang uh, 5.59 a.m., so ito na charge, 5 pesos. Okay? And then kapag weekend naman, Saturday and Sunday, so as long as, yun, Saturday, Sunday, so hindi mahalaga kung anong oras, 3 pesos naman siya per minute. Okay? So, continuation pa to. So, your job is to write a program that will ask the user to enter the following information. So, meron kayong input ng date, and then time, and then integer representing the duration of the call in minutes. Assume that all calls are rounded to the next minute. For example, a call lasting lasting 2 minutes and 35 seconds is billed as 3 minute call. So, ito, pag uh, lumampas na siya ng, let's say, 2 minute and 1 second, so, i-round nyo na yun kagal. Okay? So, gagawa kayo ng statement wherein 1 to 59 is magiging uh, 1 minute na siya. Equivalent to 1 minute. Wherein dito nga, 2 minutes and 35 seconds considered as 3 minute call na siya. Okay? And then, meron tayong format for date is long. Time is for time. Wherein gagamit ka ng date time figure. Okay? So, ito na yung sample interface natin. So, uh, is set yung date of call, uh, time of call, and then kung ilang minutes. So, each equivalent, let's say, kap, yun nga, pag uh, weekdays, na equivalent code yan, 6 a.m. to 6.59 p.m. Other than that, kapag uh, wala dun sa time range niyan, uh, 5 pesos in charge. And then, kapag uh, weekends naman, tama, weekends is 3 minutes. Okay? So, ito lang input nyo, saka itong mga tatlo pala. And then yung output. Okay? And then ito yung babayaran mo. Okay? So ito yung sample code. Okay? So, uh, iiwan ko to as your practice activity. Uh, hindi naman siya graded, pero mas maganda kung uh, naintindihan nyo kung paano siya nangyari or paano siya nagawa. And then kung ano yung step-by-step -step process. Okay? Then, another syntax of uh, if statement. So, meron na tayong uh, if then, saka else, saka end if kanina. So, may nadagdag, which is the else if. Okay? So, kung kanina, uh, ito na yun, meron kang true statement, and then pwede kang mag-declare ng napakaraming uh, procedures na gagawin niya kapag true itong statement na to. Ito naman, pwede kang maglagay ng dalawang statement. Okay? Let's say, if, if it's negative, or let's say, if it's positive, then dito siya maglalay. And then, if it's negative, then dito naman. But how about if it's not uh, negative and then it's not positive then? So, dito naman siya mapupunta. Okay? Or another example is, kung na lang. So, kapag boy ka, let's say if you're a boy, then dito yung i-execute yung code. Kapag girl ka naman, kapag babae ka, ito yung i-execute yung code. Other than that, let's say, hindi ka babae, hindi ka rin lalaki, so i-execute yung code is ito. Okay? Kahit na alien ka pa, kahit na, uh, let's say, wala kang kasarian, hindi ka babae, hindi ka rin lalaki, hindi ka rin tombo, hindi ka rin bakla, so, dito ka mag -call. So, parang ito yung parang, kahit anong mangyari, pag wala siya dito, sa mga following statements natin, or mga conditional statement, dito siya mag -call. Okay? So, madalas, ginagawa ito ng mga programmer para kapag, let's say, out of bounds na yung sagot, uh, dito sila maglalagay ng code. Wherein, uh, let's say, none of the above is chosen. Parang gano'n. Ang sakali. Para maiwasan yung error, lalagay sila ng else. Wherein, uh, dito mang magpo-fall lahat ng hindi tumama dun sa code mo. Okay? Or hindi true sa code mo. Okay? Any questions so far? None, sir. Okay. None, sir. So, don't worry. Medyo mahaba-haba na to. Pero kung mabibigyan ka na maraming example, madali lang naman siya actually. Okay? So, meron tayong example. So, ganun pa rin. So, balance manage, minus check. If this is true, then gagawin niya to. Okay? Itong dalawang procedure na to. Message box, your overdrawn message box, authorities have been notified. And if this is false, so, uh, 
pupunta siya sa another line of code mo wherein titignan niya kung ah, dito na ba siya tumama. Ah, dito ba siya ah, nalay or dito ba siya napunta. So, if balance minus check, kung true ito, then ito na yung i-execute niyang uh, procedure. But how about kapag wala dito yung tama sa dalawang conditional statement? So, kapag wala dito, then ito na yung gagawin niya. Okay? So, ganun lang naman kasi yung balance is called balance minus check. Okay? So, meron tayong example para magamit natin tong if, else, if, and then else, at saka end if natin. Okay? So, sample, uh, sample problem number 11. So, create a VB project that enables the user to input shape names using a text box. Okay, ito yung text box natin. So, pwede kang mag-input ng circle. Actually, kahit anong pangalan. Triangle, square, pentagon, decagon. Uh, display the number of sides input that shape has. If the text ha doesn't match one of these shapes, display not a valid shape. Ibig sabihin, walang shape na ganun. Okay, or merong shape na ganun pero hindi lang na-include doon sa listahan. Okay? So, meron tayong input, output. And then, yung kung paano mo i-verify kung ilang sides ba yung nandun sa uh, shape na yan. Okay? So, for now, naganap course 9. Okay? So, ito yung sample code. So, ang ginawa niya, nag-declare siya ng variable shape. So, dim shape as string. And then, so, para maiwasan yung conflict, para hindi siya malimit sa uh, you up lowercase or uh, uppercase lang. So, ang ginawa niya, kahit anong input mo sa text box 1, gagawin niyang uppercase. Okay? So, kapag nagmatch siya dito sa word na circle, so, ang papakita niya is 0. Since wala namang sides ang circle. So, kung nilagay mo dito, circles, C-I-R-C-L-E-S, so, may S. So, mapapapol na siya dito sa invalid input, uh, inputted shape. Since wala namang uh, nakamatch dito sa uh, conditional statement natin na circles. Ang meron lang is circle. Okay? So, same with the triangle. So, dapat eksaktong-eksaktong word yung uh, nandun. Okay? So, dapat magmatch sa word na triangle. So, wala naman sigurong word na triangles or circles. Ito meron siguro, pero sa ibang cases niya. So, dito, hindi ka naman siguro maglalagay ng triangles, squares. Rectangles. Though, pwede kapag marami kang tinutukoy. Pero dito, of course, one shape lang yung tinutukoy. Okay? So, for triangle, uh, three sides. Square or rectangle, dapat four sides. Then, pentagon is five. So, anong next sa pentagon? Hexagon, six. Uh, anong seven? Hexagon. Hexagon. Octagon is eight. Nonagon is nine. Decagon is 10. Ano ang 7? Hectagon. Ano? Hectagon. Hectagon. Oo, oh, wala. Hectagon. Bakit ko ba nakalimutan yung 7? Ano ang 11? Pero mo ganun? 11, sir. Ha? 11 sides. Ito uh, ba? Nagsasearch itong mga to. Ano kayo ma-11 sides? Anyway, meron yan for sure. Pero hindi ko lang alam yung pangalan. But for 10, it's decagon. Okay? So kapag wala dyan, let's say nag-input ka ng 15 sides pala, okay, so dito na siya mapupunta. Kung wala siya sa listahan. So, message box, invalid, inputed. Okay? So, we have another one. Oh, meron pala to. Un decagon. Un decagon pala sa 11. Tama ba? Duo decagon. Ano to? 12? Well, anyway, parang ganun. Okay? So, we have another one. So, sample, uh, sample problem number 11B. So, revise the problem number 11 such that the user choose so instead of piping, so meron na tayong pagpipilian. So, gamit ka lang ng radio button. Okay? So, gumamit siya ng group box. And then, sa loob ng group box, may mga radio buttons. And then, yung output natin. Okay? So, octagon, of course, 8. So, ito yung sample code natin. So, if this is true, kapag na-checkan mismo yung uh, radio button na yun, then, papakita niya lang sa text box yung value na to. 
So, 0 for uh, spherical. Tama. So, 11 sides nga yung ito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Kung decagon. Then, do a decagon. So, sabi dito, other than those, let's say, pumili ka ng kahit ano dyan, tapos do a decagon. So, magpapati dyan is 12. So, pwede nyo rin gamitin to for last statement. Since ito na yung pinakalas. Since nakalimit naman siya sa isang pagpipilian. Okay? So, itutuloy natin yung susunod namin. Yeah, since, I think, 20 seconds na yung natitira. So, yung may mga question, tanawin nyo na lang ako sa messenger. Okay? So, 5 minutes break ulit since ito-convert nyo ulit yung video.